Indoor Championships. Diane Dixon is the greatest American indoor performer ever at this distance. Still only 26 years old, Diane has won a record nine national championships at 400 meters, including a staggering eight in a row. The acknowledged greatest female track athlete of the 1980s, Germany's now retired Marita Koch, owns five of the six fastest times ever run outdoors at 400 meters. Diane Dixon is always a crowd favorite at any indoor meet and is confident about the space she occupies in this event. <laughs> um, people pay to see me run and I always give them their money's worth even more. I always give more than 100%. I think I give 500%, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I like the ambiance of the indoor circuit. Um, people just love to see me run. They love to see me compete. And I grew up on the boards. And I guess it's good to be good at something. And since I excel very well indoors, I just take it to the max. Diane Dixon in lane three this afternoon, the silver medalist at the 89 World Indoor Championships. That was a rare loss for her. Well, it's a great story. She's back with her old coach, Fred Thompson. She started running for him as a kid for the Adams Track Club. She's back in New York, so she wakes up to the sound of gunshots and garbage trucks. Here's the panel of lane assignments. In lane four, Elena Ruzhin of the Soviet Union is really probably her only chance at competition, but Gerald Miles in lane two has shown some greatness, some possible greatness in the 400, but indoors, you guys, I think Diane Dixon is, it's Diane Dixon all the way. Yeah, she may be a little more vulnerable on this flat, larger track in that when you're on the very short tracks, you have to you get that them. lead, hold them. it, and you're, it's very difficult for anyone to catch her and go around her. Here, Diane may be passable if she doesn't really get out ahead. I talked to Elena Ruzhin his coach Tatiana uh, Tatiana Yezelenko and she told me that the uh, reason I wore the wrong spikes the other night at the Milrose games that's why she didn't beat Diane Dixon she thinks she has the right spikes on today watch Dixon take the lead early Kaiser in one, Miles in two, Dixon in three, Ruzhina in four, Rochelle Stevens and Kendra McKee. They will break for the pole off the second turn, and Diane Dixon is already burning up the track. She's already passed Elena Ruzhina by about five meters this early in the race. Those improved spikes not seeming to do much for Ruzhina at this point. Diane Dixon seemed to cruise for that first lap. It's two laps of this 200 meter track. Dixon now picking that up. Roll. Rochelle Stevens in second. Yelena Ruzhin had a little trip there. She stays in third, but now Diane Dixon is pulling away. Diane Dixon takes advantage of the situation she didn't even know existed. Ruzhin had stumbled. Everyone else faltered a little bit. And Diane Dixon getting the lead the way she always does. Going to pull through and win this. Diane Dixon, an easy winner. Girl Miles and Rochelle Stevens hanging on for third place. And as you said, Craig, the Soviet really not sure how to run these, these indoor tracks. You know, it is not banked here. She got knocked off into the infield twice during that race. Diane Dixon easily dominating, even though the first 200 was a little shaky for her. It's funny. The others were a bit closer to her as they came around the first 200 meters. Her coach, Tatiana Delonsova, says this indoor season will teach Yelena Riesner how to learn to run the indoor circuit, but clearly she has a lot of lessons to learn from Diane Dixon. Let's go down to the infield where our colleague Nicole Watson is with our winner, Diane Dixon. Nicole? Gentlemen, this is the reason why we come to these races. <laughs> Diane, you seem to be invincible for these kind of races. Diane, um, I've been coming out with a cold the past month, so I felt a little lackadaisical, but once the gun went off, I felt like I was in control. I led the whole way, and I felt good. Two wins this weekend and no problem for you. No, I'm going after the Mobile Grand Prix.